hey hello guys welcome back to let code again so in our previous video we have discussed like how to record a video i mean the execution of the test uh, today we are going to learn another awesome feature from playwright that is trace viewer so we are going to learn how to record a trace and how to open that in html we can do that in two ways we can open the trace in our local host itself or else we can also use the website called trace.playwright.dev which is created by the playwright team okay so let's see how to do that and uh, before that let me tell you what is trace viewer so trace viewer is very um, useful for developer as well as testers so from testing point of view i want to see like how the execution happened uh, what are the actions has happened and also like uh, snapshot and screenshot screenshot and snapshot both are different i will tell you the difference and we can also uh, see the network tabs like network calls uh, if there is any console uh, error in the page we can see all those stuff okay so let me give you the uh, demo it's very simple actually so i'm not going to code much here okay so it's very simple so here you can see like the same code like we are going to uh, create the playwright instance from there we are using the browser type and we are going to run in the headless i mean head mode and from the browser context from the browser we are creating the browser context so remember in previous video also i said like uh, if you have to do like record the test of course we should use the browser um, context new context right so here also we are doing the same thing new context and from the context we have to say like tracing dot start okay that is the function and to get the outputs of course we have to say like context dot stop tracing within that we have some optional things like uh, we can say like a new tracing dot start options and then we can say like set screenshot as true uh, set snapshot as true and set source as true okay so i'm going to make it false for time being okay and then followed by we have this basic test like where we are just interacting with uh, some of the input fields that we discuss in our day three uh, day three i guess yeah day three and then we have this login script that we discussed in our previous video so very simple thing i have multiple steps so that i can show you the trace viewer more in detail okay and to get the tracing what we have to do is we have to say like uh, new tracing dot stop options and then we have to set the path like where we want to get our trace file okay so by default it will be in the format of zip file but actual outcome will be like your html format uh, the reporting html format okay and make sure whenever we use the tracing we have to close the context or else the tracing won't be saved okay so context dot close and of course we are closing the playwright instance as well so the coding part is very simple let me run and show to you so i'm going to right click run as java application so this is our first uh, steps is just going to this particular site and doing some things and then it's navigating to another site it's going to do the login and we got some sysout statement okay so that's it our program is completed now where i will get the file in the sense like if you see the options it's like tracing.zip that means root of the project so if i go to my project right click and refresh so here you can see like we got a new file called trace.zip now i'm going to right click and show in system explorer so within this uh, this is the file that is created you can see the time as well so if i open this here you can select we have network we have trace and then followed by we have some resource where we have all the zip files now what we can do with the zip file in the sense like we have to open this as a reporter so for that playwright team already have given this website called trace.playwright.dev uh, it's basically like your uh, like we call this something like yeah progressive web app that means whatever we are going to do that data won't be shared to anyone so it's kind of like offline but online at the same time okay so like if you're concerned that if you give your trace file because trace file will have a lot of things it will have your credentials it will have your cookies it will have your all the dom snapshot so 
it's not good idea to share your trace file to the outside but some people will be afraid like if i uh, give to this website what if they take our details that won't be happen because it's a progressive web app like once the page is loaded it is kind of like offline thing so you don't have to worry much okay but still if you don't want to use it we have a way to open it in the local host as well i will talk about that in a moment okay now coming back to this here you can see like browser.context new page just ignore it next to go to this one so here you can see like this guy uh says like we are navigating to this particular site so this is our action we are just going to do the uh navigation so if you are going to do click action it will say like click action or uh, type action so action basically you understood right so this is my before once i load the page of course there will be blank and once it is completed after you can see like the page is loaded and here we have this toggle to like dark and light theme probably if you are not comfort with light dark you can go with the light okay so yeah and here we can see like it says like uh locator and here it's just doing some type action you can see my data is there so if you see the action basically in the action we can see here but if i go and show you this action maybe like click action so here you can select this red color dot or yeah this will be perfect yeah so here you can select red color dot that means it's basically trying to click on that particular element so that is the action so what will be the before before like it entered the password and after it's like it just do the click so it will take some time to load so if you go to the next page you can see like uh, it's basically trying to take this particular uh, text element okay so here what actually got us what we got is like we got like step by step so this will be helpful for us as a tester to understand what exactly my application is doing or how my code is behaving to the uh, application okay so that's one thing but we have a lot of lot more things as well so if you go to this like metadata here you can see like when it started and what is the duration to perform that particular action we are running in the chromium browsers and some metadata you can just go and see yourself okay and in the right hand side we have this call so call in the sense like again like uh, the times the parameter like we have passed this particular value and this is our locator and true in the sense like if this locator is going to be duplicate or multiple then it will throw us error so for that we have set it as true which is part of part of your locators learning that i will cover in our upcoming videos and then here we have this console log so already i said like whenever playwright interact with any of the element it will just uh, go and check few conditions like if the element is available it is displayed it is editable all those stuff right so here you can see like uh, it's basically waiting for this particular element to be visible and it says it is visible and then it type the uh, data so we can see the logs these logs are from your uh, playwright not the console logs we write in our test script okay and here is the console so for example here i can see a warning the keyword slider something something is there is a warning so if there is a warning or error message we can get it how this is going to helpful in the sense like of course we can understand based on the error message like if there is any network 404 error we can understand if i give the trace file to the dev team definitely they can understand based on the console log as well as they will have access to the network as well so here you can see like when i navigated to this particular page i have like lot of on the top and here also some error is there it's basically google ads is blocking we can ignore that and here if you see i'm doing the login so i'm entering username password and then i'm doing the login so if i see the net talk you can see like it's a of course it's a post uh, request and within the post you can see like this is my request body and this is going to be my response body and we have the status code all the basic stuff like how we used to do in the postman we can able to see the same here as well okay so that is how network tabs works uh, yeah so this is one this one is really cool right and also this thing is a snapshot this is screenshot and this particular portion is known as snapshot what is the difference this snapshots are like 
uh, it will take a lot of snapshots so that it will be like if you just slide your mouse uh, you can see like what is happening for example this blue color thing right so that is basically like it's navigating to this particular site and this orange in the sense like it's just doing some type actions uh, or click action this hash color in the sense like it's basically trying to read some data okay and again we are no navigating to another site so here you can see the blue bar and then some green color which is doing something uh, i'm not sure like whether this color are static but i use this trace value a lot of time and i think based on the colors the actions are there even if you mouse over you can read the actions so not a big deal okay so these are basically your snapshot so if you slide your mouse you can see like uh, more detail and this guy is your snapshot snapshot in the sense like it's kind of like your preview of the page okay for example uh, here if you want to change the data you can change but yeah you cannot send the request but i hope you are getting the idea like this is like your live preview okay and also how i use this personally in the sense like sometimes i write the xpath uh, which will run few times and few times in the dom it is not there so again like i have to go to that particular steps like let's say that you have like 12 steps and the thing is failing in the xpath is failing in the 13th step then you have to do those steps repeatedly right instead of that when we when i get the report i can just go right click inspect and i can find the xpath from here itself okay so here you can see like i'm getting this one but be cautious there will be some other things as well it will always give you like two matches but uh, once you start using that you will understand how to make use of it to find the xpath or maybe like some other thing okay so that's it this is the good thing about tracing and this is really a good feature which will help both testers and as well as developers now one thing that is missing here is the source code so i know that i'm doing type i'm doing uh, join uh, i mean i'm pressing this something and something something is happening but there is also another option to attach the source code source code in the sense like the this thing like this is our source code right so we want to attach this to our trace file so that we can see like uh, which line got executed in a detailed way more in detail already we have detailed things but we can expect more details so how to do that is very simple so here you can see like already we have the screenshot as well as the snapshot similarly we can set the sources so here i'm going to make it like true but if i go right click run as java application now playwright is going to scold us yeah so here you can see like we got an exception says like uh, source root directory must be uh, this 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 okay so we have to use this as an environment okay so it's going to be very simple what can i do is i can set it this as a environment but for that we are going to execute from the maven okay not the right click as java application we are going to use this maven test command okay so what i'm going to do is if i go to my form.xml so here you can see like first of all uh, this two dependency we already added during the project creation apart from that i have created a profile even with that profile also you can do but i think profile the command the id based command is makes more sense okay and here we can use this uh, execute maven plugin and within that we can say like phase to be test and goal is java that means we are focusing on the java files to execute and then this is my class file okay so here my package name is date in i'm going to change this to date in and this is my class name okay so package name dot class name very simple thing you don't have to worry about this much you can copy it from my github repository link will be in the description okay then what we are going to do is we are going to navigate to that particular project and here i'm going to use the uh, powershell you can do in the git bash as well as in um, uh, command prompt also but yeah sorry i'm going to use the git bash here okay so git bash is uh, cool okay now uh, what we are going to do is we are going to say like 
yeah so here you can select this the zip file i'm going to delete this so that we can generate this one more time yeah so first of all i will say like maven uh, compile just to compile all the files okay after that i'm going to say like uh this thing uh yeah so this is how we have to set the path so basically we are saying like play at java src that is what we got in the console as well so we have to use this environment and we have to set the path of the um your files the folder okay so the packages so here it's like src slash main slash java slash okay then followed by i'm going to select mvn test the test command is used to run the test and dash p dash p in the sense like uh, profile and then followed by trace now what is trace in the sense like here our profile name profile id is trace so it can be anything i have given like trace and that's it so if i give enter now this will execute this will uh, give us the trace file as well as it will include the source file as well okay so that's it the build is success now i can just close this one command prompt we don't need it anymore sorry we need it because this time i'm going to show you how to so here you can see like we got the uh, zip file and if i open this uh, okay, uh yeah so here right click git bash here and i'm going to use the command called this command so this command is basically like to execute the trace file so it will give us the report in the um yeah localhost so here you can select we got the same thing like this 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 everything is same but additional is this right right hand side the source okay so that means like now for example let's say that i'm going to uh find this username and i'm going to type so here i can see like page dot locator and this is my uh xpath uh you know css and i'm typing this Ottoni. so if i go to this after you can see like Ottoni is there similarly if i go to the next step where i'm passing my password as something and if i go to the after you can see so if the before there is nothing after there is the data and action is basically i'm doing the type similarly you can see for all the stuff so here you can see like we are doing the click action and you can see this red color which means like it's doing the click action okay so that's it very cool this is very very useful i hope you understood the concept very clearly now coming back to the comments what i have used is very simple you can refer the playwright documentation itself so if you want to view the trace in the local host you have to use this that what that is what i have used only thing i have used additional is the um, profile from playwright i mean from maven okay um yeah that's it maybe we we can learn this more in detail in our maven series later on but now you can just copy and paste link will be in the description and by the way whenever we are using this goal test phase the execution command uh, all your code should be within the src main java not within the test java okay so by default it go and takes from the src main java uh, if your code are in src test java it might not be working it won't work actually i have tried that yesterday and i wasted like 30 minutes but then i realized that okay i have to give my code in the src main java okay yeah anyways uh, that's it from my side thanks for watching see you in the next one very soon if you have any queries feel free to ask me in the comment i'll be happy to reply and also you can join our discord community if you have any queries Ta bye bye take care Times I struggle in this place Been in circles several days Never knowing the right way mm, yeah Sometimes I struggle in this place People look the other way And we all deal with our pain Oh yeah Sometimes I struggle in this place Been in circles several days Never knowing the right way